Welcome back to the wild. It's Cypress and we're reviewing eyelashes today. How crazy. So what this is, it is seven pair of wispy eyelashes. These are by Mange. Props for creative packaging. I've never seen this before. Kind of cool. Kind of hard to tell which eyelash goes with which. I think these two in the center go together and then these two and these two go together and then there's four pair around the outside and you can tell because there is more flare at the end of the eyelash than the inside so the short sides are the inside and the long sides are the outside I think it makes a lot more sense than it sounds when I try to explain it these are synthetic I'm not sure what the qualifications are for true volume or tapered end I'm assuming tapered just means it's skinnier at the tips and at the base and as far as volume well I mean look at these I think they're gonna be pretty voluminous oh and look at that there are instructions on the back for anyone who has not used eyelashes yet all right let's get to trying them Oh, how do I get into this box? Oh, looks like I can get to it from the bottom. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's still got a cover on it. So you can store it just this, because it's got a cover, you can get rid of the box if you so choose. I'm not likely to do that. I'm a sucker for maintaining packaging. There we go, there's a clear view. I love this odd almost it feels like a pyramid shape but it's not it's totally flat I, I'm not sure if it's more or less gross this way kind of weird like fuzzy caterpillars all hanging out in some kind of weird dish okay how long are they oh yeah definitely too long also we've got can you see the little the bands are sticking out without eyelashes. I'm going to trim that. I'm going to trim the inside here too. Trick is to cut the band without cutting any of the lashes. These scissors are not sharp. Okay, I don't want to lose any of the wing here, so I'm going to trim off from the inside. I'm going to say one tuft. Okay. They are both successfully amputated. Uh, one of the things about these is that they're supposed to have a really flexible, <laughs> a really flexible band. And uh, ooh, look at that! It looks like that is in fact the case. How gross is that? Why are they so gross until they're on your face? I don't know. It's kind of weird.
stuck around. time for some reason. Apparently I am gluing it to my eyelashes today instead of my eyelid. Oh joy. That's gonna be fun to get back off. Uh, I, uh, through no fault of the lash, managed to try to adhere this to my eyelashes rather than my eyelid, and it's giving me a little bit of a pain, but uh, I think I've got it in place now. So we're going to give this just a little bit of time to dry, and then we will have some final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. What do you think? finding these to be terribly comfortable and very dramatic. I think for me these are a bit of an evening look, which isn't to say I won't wear them during the day. I have a nasty little habit of overdressing most of the time. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. What do you think? Are they an evening look, an everyday look? Are they too dramatic? How natural do they look? I mean, clearly they don't look like my natural lashes because there's no way a redhead can make this kind of eyelash, but they're not very plastically looking. They're a nice quality. They're, they're very soft. So there you have it. These are the manja. And uh, if I'm mispronouncing this, it's because everybody pronounces this a different way. I don't think we have a consensus on how to pronounce this, but I'm going to say manja is my best guess. There it is. Here's the pair I'm wearing. I think they're fabulous. They only cost me, which comes out to... really a good price for seven pair of high quality reusable synthetic dramatic wispy eyelashes yeah now that i have them on they're very comfortable very lightweight and they don't block out a lot of light i'm not seeing a lot of eyelash shadow coming down onto my face let's see here Yeah, not a lot of I'm getting the light overhead here. I'm having a hard time making it cast a shadow. There we go, a little shadow right here. So, ah! so there you have it. That's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you found my review useful. If you like this video, if you found it useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay close to the wild, hit subscribe. And if you want to stay connected in between videos, you can always find me on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching and always remember, keep those eyelashes wild. Mm -hmm.